Okay, using the normal distribution as an approximation to the Poisson distribution. Uh, this works in a similar way to what you did last year where you would approximate a binomial distribution with the normal. So when lambda is large enough, we can approximate it with a normal distribution. So if x follows a Poisson distribution uh, with mean lambda and lambda is bigger than 15, then we can approximate it with a normal distribution where x follows a normal distribution. And remember the parameters for normal were the mean and the variance? Well, they're both lambda when you're talking about Poisson. So we have this normal distribution with the parameters lambda and lambda. Remember that we are changing from a discrete uh, distribution to a continuous one, so we're going to need a continuity correction. If you can't remember how to do that, I suggest you go look up the video of approximating the binomial with a normal distribution and have a little bit of a revision of how to do that. Okay, so an example. X follows a Poisson distribution uh, with lambda 30, we want to find the following probabilities. So the first one, the probability to x equals 31. We can just work that one out straight away, we don't need any approximation. If you want to do the probability that x is less than or equal to 31, you don't really want to do 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 and all the way up to 31 and add them together. So we can approximate this with a normal distribu distribution because lambda is bigger than 15 and that makes the calculation much, much easier. So now x follows a normal distribution with uh, mean 30 and variance 30. So our probability has now got to be less than 31.5. Remember, that's the continuity correction. So we want 31 and under, including 31. So on the normal curve, that will be less than 31.5. We go that 0.5 extra to make sure the 31 gets included. So that's the same as the probability that z is 31.5 minus 30 over root 30. And again, if you don't remember how to find probabilities off a normal curve, go look up the AS video on it from last year. So that gives us a z value of 0 0.274. Uh, and we can use the, ta the tables to work out that that's 0 0.608. Okay, next one we are approximating to the normal again. Uh, the continuity correction will mean that those limits are going to be 29.5 so that we don't include the 29 and 32.5 so that we do include the 29 because that's uh, a less than or equal to 32 but the 29 was strictly more than. So now we are going to put that into its Z form, standardised form and then work out those probabilities by using our table for all the normal distribution. Okay, next example. The number of accidents x in t weeks can be modelled by a Poisson distribution with a mean of 0.4t. Find the probability of one or less accidents in two weeks. So x is going to follow a Poisson distribution of 0.8 since t equals 2. So we want the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. That's the probability that x equals 1 or equals 0. So add those two together. Okay, next we have 12 or more accidents in a year. So a year is 52 weeks. 52 times 0.4 gives us 20.8. And that approximates to a normal distribution of 20.8, um, 20.8. And we're going to work out the probability that x is greater than or equal to 12. Again, we're using the normal because it's a much easier ca calculation. We don't want to add up all of the values from 0 up to 12. Now with the continuity correction, that's 1 minus the probability that x is less than 11.5 because we don't want that 12 included, we want strictly less than. So then using our z values and reading off the table, we get that final result.